Secure readings, people, I will explain you in simple words and terms with a step-by-step -step guide how to use PancakeSwap, yay. So depending on what you want to do, whether it's you want to swap your currency, which is on the Binance Smart Chain, maybe you want to do the yield farming, anything you want to do, I'll just walk you through step-by-step. -step. Super simple. First things you gotta do is you need MetaMask. It doesn't have to be exactly MetaMask, but everybody uses MetaMask, just get it. Link down below or type it into the Google App Store, Extension Store, get that. Next up, you need to add the Binance Smart Chain. What you gotta do is, when you're either in this view or you have your drop-down menu for MetaMask over here, you remove your own camera, see the very top where it says Binance Smart Chain, you click this drop-down menu, the ETH mainnet is going to select it automatically. If you don't have the Binance Smart Chain, click on Add Network. They made it a little easier now, where you can just add the most common ones, so you can probably just click on Add Binance Smart Chain. But just in case it's not there for you, all you gotta do is click on Add a Network Manually, type how to add it into Google, click the first link, or the second, or the third, it doesn't matter, scroll down, and then all you have to do is copy-paste those five things. So you can see, Network Name, RPC URL, the exact five things that are listed over here. You can just copy-paste, done. Then, with the drop-down menu, you can switch between networks. For ETH or Polygon or the Binance Smart Chain, it's always the exact same wallet address. In my case, when you have Solemn.eth, it's always that. So even if you go to ETH now and you send Ethereum to that wallet or BNB, it's always in that account. You just need a different smart chain in order to access that. Let's say you don't have BNB and you don't really use an exchange. I mean, you probably use an exchange, but let's just pretend you don't. But you have Ethereum or Bitcoin, anything like that. What you can do is, and I'll leave a link down below, there's a site that I usually use called SimpleSwap, where you can just exchange one crypto for another. For example, you have Bitcoin and you want BNB. You select the BSC, the Binance Smart Chain, for what you want to have. At the top, it's automatically selected. You can also go with anything you like, click on Exchange, and then on the next page, enter wallet address. You go to your wallet, click up there, it copies that, you go back, and then you paste it down there. And then it tells you, send X amount to that address. After like five to 50 minutes, sometimes it takes a little, it's gonna stop your currency, but then you would have BNB. So you can access the Binance Smart Chain, you can get all the altcoins, all the garbage that is out there, great. Now here's how we use PancakeSwap. Now, after me in the past tells you something. Over the past couple of weeks, I made a couple of videos here and there where we also talked about spot trading and futures, because those are options and things that you can do in crypto that you might not know about when you got into it. While in the beginning, you might just hear about Bitcoin and Ethereum and you can buy that, and then you sign up for different exchanges and you can see all the altcoins and other cryptocurrencies available, you then see all those different words up there, right? For example, well, I can trade, but there's spot, there's leveraged ETFs, there's margin, there's this, there's that, there's a whole lot. And I think the easiest one to get into once you learn about all those words is spot trading. So let me show you on Maxi what that is, how to do it. You can see the account risk level is medium and what that means. With the easiest Google search definition, it means you as a trader, you buy an asset and then you hope you sell that at a higher price in the future. So to explain it with apples and oranges, let's say you get oranges, I get apples. I borrow your oranges in exchange for my apples because I think oranges are going to go up in price. Then in the future, it does go up. I sell the oranges, I buy back my apples and I can keep the extra money. That's kind of how it goes. And when it comes to that, obviously you can go with the main coins. You have Bitcoin, you have ETH, you have ADA. And that's what most people do because those are the coins that you know about. But the cool thing is on Max-C, when you talk about all the different altcoins that can't be found anywhere else, they allow you to spot trade with those as well. So let's say you like Elon Musk and you always hear about Shiba and Doge. You could have a Shiba and Doge spot trading pair available on the site. And if you've watched videos of, let's say Alex back in the past and you heard about different altcoins, for example, ADA or EOS, that you can even have IQ and EOS as a trading pair available here. But that is only a small part on the site. You can also have like 10 different buttons for futures, the launchpad available, Kickstarter, their own ETF trade mining, and a whole lot of other stuff. This is more like a public service announcement as in, you heard about spot trading, you want to try that, and you've seen all those charts and different videos before, this will be a site where you can try it out. And if you want to see a detailed guide about how to do that, how to deposit different currencies, how to trade into them, and how to buy and sell on here, so you can see exactly which buttons you need to press in order to do what you want to do, and how to do future trading and leverage with that, let me know in the comments. We can make a full detailed guide on that as well. 
Now we get rid of our camera because up here there's a button that is to connect your wallet. You click on that and then it asks you do you want to connect the drop down menu like this is going to appear and you just click on approve. Then once you connect it again make sure you're on the Binance Smart Chain. If you want to trade into any currency that is on the Binance Smart Chain for example let's say you watched Alex Becker before and he in the past always talked about like Vulcan Forged or any of the alt points that are on the Binance Smart Chain as well. No financial advice, don't buy this, just mentioning this is how you would do it if you want to get anything. You would have that down here. This one says copy address. You click on copy, you go to PancakeSwap, it asks you what do you want to select. In our case we have BNB, we can select BNB. And what do we want to swap that into? We would have this. We paste what we just copied and then it tells you do you want to add this, yes or no. You click on yes and then you can swap into your token. The first time you use any currency when you swap, you have to approve it first. Cost like 20 cents roughly in gas fees and then you're fine. That means also if you swap into a currency and then you want to swap that back, you have to approve it first. Now when you swap, you have this little, I'm barely blocking it, but right here, this little icon where you have settings. You can have standard, fast and instant. That just means the gas fees are like 20, 21 or 22 cents. There is basically no chance that your transaction ever failed, so you will never lose gas fees. But if you want to have something 10 seconds earlier, you can click on instant. And then for slippage tolerance, the more they have on liquidity, meaning the more they have available of both tokens, the lower your slippage can go. For example, if you have BNB and you want to swap that into Tether, a stable coin, you can go with 0.01% technically, because they always have that available. But when it comes to coins with a small market cap, like this one for example, anything under like 50 to 100 million is considered uh, small, then you might want to increase this, otherwise it just tells you, hey, we don't have enough available, it doesn't work. Slippage means, let's say you swap $1, do you want to have $1 in the token that you get? Of course, that would be 0% slippage. If it slips by 1%, you might get 99 cents for a dollar. Now let's talk about yield farms, the most important thing. So, when you have the earn tab, number two, tells you farms and pools. The most common farms, they have a multiplier based on how much cake they give you. Cake is the token of Pancake Swap. You can always see the price of that up there in the top right. What Pancake Swap does is when you have money in here, let's say for example you want to have a stable coin on BNB, because you think, well, if I get 12% on my money on something that I have anyways, might as well go with that. You will have the harvest button. Harvest means this percentage, roughly 1% a month, is gonna get paid out to you into this over there, into this little farm. So you have to harvest your money in the form of cake tokens. And then if you want to access the money, you have to sell the cake. Now they don't want you to sell the cake, which is why they make those things over here like a cake and BNB or BUSD pair very lucrative with a 10x or 200x over here. 34% APY seems pretty good, but you gotta keep in mind that the token value of pancake swap varies quite a bit. This used to be like $26 at the peak. Now it's at $3.70. Eh. That's like a minus 7x-ish. So if you go with BNB, which is fairly stable, and BUSD, you have the best chance. You can also go with, I think there's a BUSD and Tether farm. You have 6.5% on USDT and BUSD. Two stable coins, which means they're worth $1 anyways. So if you give them $100 after one year, you get an extra $6.50. Doesn't sound like a lot, but if you give them 100,000 and you get 6,500 for doing nothing, then it's pretty good. Now, if you want to enable any of that, for example, the most basic one, cake and BUSD, here's what you do. For this one, you need a liquidity pair, that's the fancy term for it, with 50% money value in cake and 50% in BUSD, which means in our account over here, we need BUSD and we need cake. We have nothing of that, but we do have BNB. So what we're gonna do first is we go to trade and we trade, let's say 0.03 like $10-ish into cake. Confirm swap. That's gonna open this. Confirm. Add it to your wallet with the button. So it shows up here. Even if it doesn't show up, it will always be there. In case it never shows up, copy the address that you can find on CoinMarketCap, click on import tokens, paste it, and then it's gonna show up as well. So we're gonna get cake and we're gonna get BUSD, which is, if you type it in, right there. We used 0.03 roughly $10, click on swap, confirm, and done. You don't have to have the exact 50-50 pair, just know that if you have like 55% of one and 45% of the other, it can only match and be an equal pair. Once both of those things are done and you have your BUSD and then you cake down there, 
Next thing you do is turn off the light because it's too bright. Hover over trade and it tells you liquidity in the middle option. For liquidity, for the farm we want to use, we need kick and BUSD. We just swapped into that. Let's create liquidity. Like in Dragon Ball, we're going to fuse two things together. Add liquidity and ask you how much do you want to use. If you press on the balance area, it just selects everything. You can also select max. It's going to select an equal pair. See, if we select the lower one, but we have like half a cent more, it tells you we don't have enough BUSD. So we go with the lower one. So it's a perfect pair. Click on supply, confirm, and then it's going to fuse those two together. You pay your gas fees and you can add that to your wallet. Here's one downset. If you use more than one farm, you will always get cake LP. It's always called that. It doesn't matter what farm you use. It can be two magical coins that you fuse. It's always called cake LP. It's not called BUSD and cake LP. It's just cake LP all the time. So this one used to be an old pair that I had. The new one I didn't add because we're going to use it anyways. So even if you don't see it, it's still in your wallet. Next step, we go back to earn, click on farms, and we selected our cake and BUSD farm. Enable contract. You click on next, click on approve. We paid like 70-ish cents in gas fees. So if you use $20, that's like a three and a half percent investment. That sucks. But the more you use, the lesser the percentage. Next up after it's enabled, you can click on stake LP, then select max again, click on confirm, pay the gas fees, sign everything, and then after like $1 in gas fees, we're finally done with that. We should get the notification within like 10 to 20 seconds-ish, but in Smart Chain is usually under 30 seconds for almost all your transactions. And then once that is staked, which shows up there, you will see that there's one button up there, lights up, it's called a harvest, because that is the cake earned that you can harvest from it, which means we have $20 invested and we get 15% if we just round up. That means every year we get $3 in our 20, which is not much, but for the fact that I have to do absolutely nothing but pressing the harvest button, that's it. Thing is when you press on harvest, you have to pay gas fees. So if you have $20 invested and you have to pay 20 cents in gas fees and you made 20 cents in cake or even 50 cents a cake and then you have to swap it back to make the money, eh, it's not worth it. But for, let's say, if your minimum investment is like $500 plus, you don't have to think about it, get 15%, nice. As long as the site exists. You can also enable the staked only part up there and then you can see your farms exactly. In case this ever finishes and they discontinue this and you want to take your money out because you can't find it, filter by, click on finished, so you can see all the old ones. You can either migrate that to the new farm or if it doesn't exist anymore and your contract was enabled, you can harvest all your cake and take your money out that way. And that's how you do what you gotta do. That being said, if you get any questions, leave them down below. Thanks again to Max C. Sign up, link down below. And I would say see you in the next video fairly soon. Until then, take care.